I've got these 22 money lessons that help me save thousands and it will help you save too. As someone who has journeyed through 20 years as a nurse, I learned about money and sometimes the hard way. Today, I want to share 22 essential money lessons I wish I knew earlier, especially for my fellow nurses. Stick around and let's go to lesson number one. Start saving early. Time is your best ally, especially if you're young and you're just starting your nursing career. Compound interest is powerful. Saving just a little early can add up to a lot over the years. The earlier you save, the more your money will grow. For example, at the age of 25, you invested $1,000 a month with an annual interest rate of 8%. Compounded monthly, after 30 years, you would have approximately $1.5 million. Let's look at the breakdown. Your total contribution over 30 years is 360000 and your total interest earned is $1.229 million. Final balance of $1.589.733 million in 30 years. This example powerfully illustrates how compound interest combined with consistent investing in a higher interest rate can significantly grow your wealth over time. Lesson number two, don't be afraid of investing. As figured in our lesson number one, that over time, compound interest builds you wealth. Growing up from an Asian household, investing is not something we talk about. I have not learned from my parents because for them, investing is something risky until i came here as an immigrant and learned that investing is not just for the wealthy it's for anyone who wants to build a stable financial future i had to teach myself step by step and trust me it's worth overcoming that initial fear lesson number three emergency fund is necessary life happens unexpected expenses comes up emergency fund it saves you time and less stress like, for example, you have to take on a medical leave to take care of a loved one or unexpected travel expenses. So emergency fund saves you time. You'll learn from a lot of finance books to live below your means. If you think you have more necessary spending, then create more income streams. As I read through books like The Millionaire Next Door, most truly wealthy people live well below their means. That's how they got wealthy to begin with. Credit cards can be great for building credits and building rewards, but don't rely on them for your day-to-day -day expenses. Try at all possible to pay off your credit card bills in full each month to avoid high interest rates. Otherwise, it will cripple your finances. Lesson number six, invest in your skills. Taking online courses or certifications in your field that can significantly increase your income over time and make you more valuable to your employer. Which brings us to lesson number seven, know your worth and negotiate. As nurses, we're often too humble to negotiate but you deserve the compensation that reflects your value and your hard work. Lesson number eight, set financial goals. Having specific short and long-term goals keeps you focused and gets you motivated. Write them down and review them quarterly. My most top three goals are saving, investing goals, and travel goals. Set up automatic savings, please. Set up automatic savings from your checking to your savings account every payday. For instance, if you automate a transfer of $200 monthly, you'll save $2,400 a year without even thinking about it. The less you need to think about saving, the more consistent you will be. Automation is a powerful tool for discipline. Next, don't be scared of side hustle. And I'm still in the hustle Era. Nursing can be intense, but finding a manageable side hustle can offer additional income and new skills. I found teaching as a clinical adjunct professor and coaching and real estate on the side work best for me. Educate yourself 
continuously. As nursing is evolving, is so about finance. Read books, watch educational videos, and stay informed about new financial opportunities. And if this is helping you in any way and spark motivation, please hit subscribe and you can help me achieve a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And it means a lot to me. Death can be a strategic. Understand the difference between good and bad death. For example, student loans. It can lead to higher earning potential through education, while high interest credit card debt can hinder financial progress since high interest rates can accumulate and become difficult to manage. Lesson number 13, avoid impulse spending. That dopamine hit from buying something on a whim can derail your budget. Holiday is coming up, so always think before making purchases. Prepare for the future and in your golden years. It is never too early to start contributing to a retirement plan, whether you start at any amount, $100 every payday, as long as you're building the habit of saving. Most employers offers a match-up contribution, so you take advantage of that. For example, if your employer offers a match of up to 3% on your contributions, ensure you contribute at least that much to maximize your retirement savings effectively and that is free money from your employer. Learn basic tax strategies. Having a tax advisor is beneficial. It can help you plan better and keep more of your money. Learn about deductions, credits, and tax advantage accounts. Don't let guilt drive your spending. As immigrant, it's easy to feel pressured for support and it's noble, but balance is key to ensure you don't jeopardize your own financial security. Next, track your spending religiously. If budgeting apps works for you, then it's great. For me, I create my own spreadsheet to make sure I see where my money is going. It is eye-opening and empowering, ensuring that you are within your budget. Point number 18, upgrading your lifestyle every time you get a raise can trap you in a cycle of working just to sustain that new standard. As they say, don't keep up with the Jodices. For example, instead of buying the latest car because your friends have it, consider whether it fits into your budget and needs. Focusing instead on saving for future goals. Lesson number 19, networking can save you money. Sometimes knowing the right people can open up opportunities or can lead to advice that can save you thousands. Celebrate small wins. Financial progress takes time. Acknowledge and reward yourself for small wins. Lesson 21 is this. The people who don't look rich are often the ones who actually are. I first discovered this concept in the book, The Millionaire Next Door. Wealth is not about appearances. My perfect example, Warren Buffett, one of the richest individuals in the world, still lives in the modest house he purchased decades ago. He exemplifies how true wealth is often hidden in a frugal lifestyle. And the last lesson is the most important one, health is wealth. Working long shift and overtime may seem a good way to boost your income, but if it's compromising your health, then it's not worth it. Simple, regular exercise, it can improve quality of life, making it easier to enjoy life's pleasure without financial strain. And there you have it, 22 money lessons that help me navigate my journey. I hope this resonates with you and give you some motivation. If you like this video, make sure to check this video over here, side hustles to boost your income. Share this with anyone who could use these tips and money lessons. Stay financially savvy and see you on the next video.